All right. It'll be nice. Nice, got a nice sunset going on here for the video. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, so I am going to be taking on the day 623 Horde Knight at my base over here. I've been kind of wanting to get the uh, base build playlist. Uh, get a few videos in there. <laughs> I've had two in there since the dawn of time. Uh, both of them from this file. But this is one of the bases that has not been on there yet. Um, came out here a little while ago. Made sure everything was all repaired. Looking good. Um, I have a pretty good feeling that I'm going to get a wandering horde while I'm walking around talking about this. So uh, I'm trying to keep an eye out. Ear out as well. But yeah, this was a... Uh, basically, I've been kind of like messing around with the idea of a pyramid base. And this one, I decided to go ahead and do an inverted uh, setup. Like, the Hub City base that I built out here uh, has an above-ground inverted pyramid that actually houses my crafting and everything. Uh, but this I wanted to check out, kind of like the spike pyramid setup, but uh, just going down in the ground. Because I noticed as the zombies, like, as they were running up this slope, they get stuck really easy. They get, like, hung up on bodies... Um, and it just gets stuck underneath them and it's kind of a mess. It works pretty well, but, um, I wanted to test this idea out and I honestly, I think this one works better because like when the zombies bodies form on top of the spikes, it basically makes like a flat surface right here. And yeah, some zombies will still get stuck there, but most of them just like run right across the top. Um, so it does help, uh, funneling the zombies down towards the center. Uh, which is where I'll be standing. I'll be right up here on top. Just have some iron bars going all the way around so I can shoot down at them. I think in the future I'd probably consider putting on an extra row of iron bars. Uh, it seems a little bit narrow running around on this style of setup. And there's that uh, wandering horde I was talking about. So hopefully we can stop this guy before he goes in there. Okay. Luckily, it seems like it's just these two guys. Let's see if anyone spawns as their replacements. They may have just been standing around out there, and I uh, accidentally attracted their attention. So, first, uh, I guess. Oh, they're there. I was going to say, first victims of the uh, base here. Woo! Honestly, I kind of wish it would have been uh, a larger wandering horde than this. And I wish they would have waited about an hour. Showed up right before the horde night started. That would have been fun. Alright, let's clean this stuff up real quick. I don't have much time, but I do kind of want to show the base off a little. Pretty much just went around. As you can see, I put uh, the lamp post up, in which now it's starting to get dark. You can actually see. Uh, looks pretty nice. Oh, yeah, that is actually with the mining helmet off. Um, and everything is lit up pretty well. Like underneath, I don't actually fight down there. Um, mainly just up top. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. We got mini bike entrances that go in one side and out the other so I don't have to I didn't want to have to uh, build a space to turn around so and I'll probably walk around here a little bit more after the horde nights over uh, get a clearer view of things just in case I doubt anything will happen, but if I happen to hit a crossbow bolt out there and break the glass and the zombies are also spawning out there, like that could be pretty bad news. Put the magnum back on the belt for sure. Oh geez, this stuff can just be dropped. Uh, I'll mess with that later. It's like <laughs> 9.40. Um, well, I mean that looks pretty cool as well. Like. 
So this is what it looks like. I didn't put any lights in here because the ceiling was just a little too high. Um, so we have spotlights spread all throughout. Just kind of lighting up the surface out there. And there's also the four spotlights in the corner shining some light back this way. So the thing is pretty well covered with light. We got about five minutes left. Um, yeah, you can see pretty far. Basically just at ground level. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this started. Looks like we might be getting them from the northeast. Northwest as well. Alright. Oh, here they come. There they come. Good times. Let's go ahead and zoom in for maximum effectiveness. Because I have pretty bad aim. <laughs> but it's a good time. So mainly from the northwest. That may have been a uh, sh stray dog. Oh, there we go. The uh, mining helmet does make a bit of a difference. Hey there, brother. This is one thing that... You know, you do have to watch out for that. You don't really have a lot of uh, defense from that just because... Oops, that was a bad shot. Don't you dare! Because you're not up above them. On the other pyramid setup that I have, um, when you stand down here even, like the cops are below you. And so it helps quite a bit in uh, keeping you safe. Most of the time you don't even really have to move. Oh wow, we got two cops coming in. Good times. Let's wait till they stop a little bit. Are y'all gonna stay together? Okay, so he's dead. He's still alive. Okay, cool. I brought a lot of uh, exploding crossbow bolts just for uh, that reason. Can I hit this guy down here? Another cop coming in. So, I mean, not too bad. We got a lot of cops coming through. Ooh. Oh, man. That looked like it went right through him to me. Is he still... Oh, I... <laughs> I thought he was dead for sure. But yeah, I am a huge fan of this style of base. Like, it is a good time. Just kind of like clear out the spikes below. We're good there. More cops. Man, this is a uh, cop heavy horde for sure. Oh, she made it down. She almost made it all the way down with both of her legs. That's quite the feat. Where is this guy? Oh, looks like he was there. Now he's dead. She's kind of trapped. And this is why, I don't know, <clears throat> I ended up using a lot of exploding crossbow bolts back in the day. Because uh, zombies would get trapped underneath the other zombies on the spikes. And uh, I would just kind of have to blow them up to get them out of there. Uh, yeah, that's too close. My goodness. Could have swore I just heard another cop, but maybe not. My aim is off. Oh! <laughs> hey, there's that cop. All right. Oh man, he's still alive. I just kind of like I just kind of go in with the exploding crossbow bolts until they're done for. Uh, cops get like no chances. <laughs> I've died too many times to cops. Yep. 
They've kind of slowed down a little bit. I feel like I've got... Yeah, I've got a few just kind of hanging out over here. Let's just get rid of a few of these real quickly. Get a nice uh, fresh batch of zombies in. And see, they spawn way back there. I don't even know if you can see that, but that zombies just spawn basically back where that Yuka is. And that was something that was kind of a surprise to me. I started this file and I didn't have uh, display dis distant terrain on. But after I turned that on, like the zombies started spawning way far back on Horde Night. Stand back a bit, break line of sight. And this is how it works best. Cause like now, yeah, like even if he shoots at me, it doesn't matter. Like I am a huge fan of iron bars. Ow! Hey, hey! Like <laughs> I was demonstrating over there. And you can't just be coming over here and blasting me, sir. Oof. Man, both of those hit. Very solid. Oh, I thought she was dead for sure. But dogs... I mean... In general, I hate dogs, right? But on Horde Night, if I have spikes at my base, I really don't even bother. Because, like, unlike the zombies, they're not gonna get, like, uh, stuck, like, underneath the body or something. Or like this right here. The way they're standing, like, they're just still taking damage. And, yeah, just like that, they just die every time. So I pretty much just ignore dogs. They do some damage to your spikes, for sure, but uh, they usually don't live very long. Alright, it's... yeah, it's 1 o'clock. It's time to hop down. I usually wait till the first feral shows up. But, uh, I think now's a good time. And this is this is kind of a design issue, right? <laughs> I got to get up here and I like totally wreck myself on my own spikes. There's 30 points, 30 hit points right there. Since they're spawning on this side, I'm gonna kind of hang out over here. Are right, you stuck? Now you're dead. All right, yeah, we should be getting some more in like right now. Alright, and what I should do real quick is just kind of get rid of any zombies that are just like hanging around, not taking any damage. Just kind of eating up the max alive count, and there's a cop and a feral. Good times to be had. I gotta not, I gotta try really hard not to shoot my own glass or I'm gonna be really upset with myself. Oh no, wrong gun. <laughs> That's not even a gun. <laughs> Still alive. Quit taking shots for him, cop. <laughs> He's feral. He's gotta be put down. <laughs> oi, oi. Yeah, the AK does work a bit better, but uh oh yeah, it's desert time, I'm burning up. It's 2 a.m. We'll be fine. Should have brought a yucca with me anyway. Oh, he's going the other direction. I like. Oh, he's still, uh... Oh, we need to deal with this. I don't know how much damage he's taken on those spikes. Oh, he's right by the glass, though. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare shoot my glass. This is why, like... Oh, man, I really... 
really want bulletproof glass. Like, super, super want bulletproof glass. Yep, dogs. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah, yeah, I needed to hit that. Oh, there's another cop on me. Uh, bad times. Oh, he's gonna blow up. Oh, oh, I didn't. That worked. He kind of killed the zombies around him. We're fun. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> All right. I didn't realize he had taken so much damage. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Um, let's drink a beer. Man, we are overheating something fierce right now. Let's go ahead and get the SMG out, because, yep. That dude is right in front of us. He is not dead yet. Uh, I think that guy is, though. But, yeah. It is fun. Uh, I do enjoy getting to hang out on top of this thing, but as you can see, it's like once you get down, you start running around. Uh, there's no, you can't really utilize the spikes on the base. You can kind of cut some corners. Uh, like if I cut across here quickly, the zombies will probably go across the spikes, right? Um, so you can still use it that way, and that's pretty effective. Well, there you go. <laughs> Two of them just like lost their legs instantly. I guess, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe you can use the base just fine. Look, they don't even, <laughs> they can't even get anywhere. They're just, uh, legless. And he died, just hanging out on those spikes. He was just not able to figure it out. Alright, we need some more zombies in here. Hey, look, we got a feral. 96 degrees. We are doing alright. Oh man, he's wily. <laughs> it's well, it's it's either that or my aim is just really bad. So I do need to kind of keep them away from the uh, mini bike entrance. Not a fan of that. I am a fan of the magnum though. This thing is super fun. I think I'm better with hip fire than anything. That's what I should just do from now on. Oh man, I thought that was it for sure. Oh. Go down! Maniac! Ugh. Dude! Alright. I'm bleeding out, but I'm not stopping it until he's dead. Okay, that bandage. Okay, we're good. We're, no, we're good. We got this. Anyway. <laughs> So that is, uh, that's the base. This thing is, it's not bad. I really enjoy it. Got a good uh, amount of loot out of the deal. And it's like, it's really simple. The spikes kind of just take care of themselves. You don't really have to do a lot of repair work on it. And like this is just this is just bonus. I just wanted a fancy place to park my mini bike. So I got that.
yeah, it looks pretty good during the day. I can say I am a fan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I know how to walk, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, I've been kind of working with some ideas now where I've been uh, basically making a one wide hallway look like, or like this, look like it is not only one block wide. So uh, it's not as, I don't know, kind of claustrophobic, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think. Uh, I think this base works really well. I enjoy it a lot. It's a pretty fun build. Um, and I do think it... Like, the zombies still get stuck on one another. Like, as they start to form up on the spikes, they still do get stuck on one another. So, that's always an issue I'm kind of battling. But, uh... I think it works better than, like, a tr traditional style, you know, spike pyramid. Which, I also have another one of those, which I need to make a horde video at, so we'll be doing that one here pretty soon. Um, but yeah. I think that should uh, do it for this. Um, I'm going to continue the stream, just kind of like, uh, gather things up and start making my way back. But uh, this is basically the end of the, the horde video uh, for this base, so. Yeah. I'll keep this playlist going and see. Uh, I've got... I don't know, I, I think three more bases. If I can get the prison working, I've got like three more bases that I need to do videos at. Maybe four. I gotta look. But, uh, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. <laughs>